Um, hello there, here's Skylar. Uh, you guys probably know me from Devinchart or For Affinity or just YouTube, whatever. Uh, I'm making this video to answer some of the questions you guys left in the fact about how do I draw, paint and stuff. But I would like to warn you before you start watching this video. English is not my first language, so uh, if you don't understand anything I'm trying to say, just ask me in the comments and I'll be glad to answer. But I would also like you to know that I'm a self-taught artist, which means everything I know, I've learned on my own. I've never gone to any art schools or Photoshop classes or whatever. I'm still at school, so I'm no sort of professional. Um, so it wouldn't take me as a base if I were you. But I would be glad to teach you what I know. I hope you enjoy it. So, let's start up with the questions. First, how long does it take you to do a line art for a picture? How do you color? Where did you learn your coloring style? How do you do your shading? How do you do your backgrounds? Well, those are the questions I hope you all have answered by the end of this video. Let's see, um, how do I do my line arts and how long does it take? Firstly, get a drawing you'd like to trace a line art. It can be scanned or even sketched on a tablet as this one was. Create a new layer for your liner and change the opacity of the sketch layer to whatever makes you comfortable. I normally use a 3 pixel size brush for the main part of it, but using different sizes can give you a very nice movement effect in the picture. Try to make the liner as continued as possible and leave no holes in it. If you're using a tablet for your liner, remember to select Shape Dynamics for a better result. Well, now take your time and make it with a lot of patience, because making a liner might sometimes take a little while. Let's just skip this boring part black. Right? Now going back to one of the first questions, how long does it take you to make a liner? Well, I recorded the whole process, as you can see, and the video has around 6 minutes. It normally takes a little less than that, since I had to make it slower for this tutorial. I hope I have helped! Now, back to our question list, the next topic will be, how do you do your coloring? Well. Just to warn you before I start thinking, oh, what's that? What kind of painting style is this? This is a completely original way of fast flat Photoshop painting my brother and I have developed a while ago. Sorry if it sounds kind of weird as everything else I make, but at least it seems to work for me. So, first of all, get the drone you just traced your line here, and in a new layer, make the character's color lines, as I like to call it. It means it's furs, marks, scars, and everything else. Then, select the area you want to paint firstly, with a select tool, and click on Select, Modify, Expand. This will expand the area of your selection, making it faster for you to paint, and making most of the boring work for you. Then, on a new layer under your line art, select the Paint Bucket tool, and paint the area you selected. Fix the little white parts the selection couldn't reach with a brush. Keep doing this until your drawing is completely done. And ta-da! Sorry for the weirdness again, but I hope I have helped. Right, let's move on to the next question of our list. How do you do your shading? I would firstly like to tell you that the shading technique I use was an adapted version of the one created by an awesome artist called Fox Orion. I truly encourage you to check out his page. He's got some very good painting tutorials there. 
but it was created by him. This painting style was extremely modified and adapted for my personal use, and now it has become a completely different thing. So, first of all, I like to save my finished drawings as PNG format, but you can do it as you prefer. Create a photo filter layer. For the shading, make sure to remove the select option of preserve luminosity and select the color you'd like to shade with. Now, click on Ctrl I or Command I if you're using a Mac to invert the colors in the filter. Using the brush tool, begin shading. Don't be afraid of trying out new styles and angles. I personally like to make a very messy shading in the beginning, just to have a general idea of what it will look like in the end. Now, just keep on working on it. And finally, we are done with the drawing. I hope I have helped once again. Now, moving on to the next and final question. How do you do your backgrounds? Well, it's actually very hard to tell. As I've already told you, I've never been to art school before, so I had to learn it the hard way. Drawing a background is all about observation. You need to observe how every texture works, how light works, and how those shadows work too. I would admit I rarely work without references. I personally like to get it from my favorite Disney movies, since I believe their style suits me the best. But notice, I only study how light and texture works. I never copied a background from those movies. But still, you can learn a lot by studying professional work. I would also recommend downloading different texture brushes. You can find very nice free brushes in the web. It eases your work and makes your final results way better. I hope you have enjoyed and even learned something from this little tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for those who left questions in the fact. I truly had a lot of fun making this. Goodbye and see you next time!